Hi children, it's Pastor Lissa and we are back for another story time. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to read another story. This is a book that I got recently and I'm very excited to share it with you. It's called Maybe God is Like That Too. So let's open it up and see what we discover. Maybe God is Like That Too. I live in the city where the sidewalks and subway cars and buildings and buses are packed with people, but I've never seen God before. Look, there he is. He's up in his window. That looks like a busy city, doesn't it? Grandma, does God live in the city? I ask one morning at breakfast. Yes, God is here, she says. You just need to know where to look. Whenever you see love, joy, and peace, God is there, she says, stirring her tea. Wherever there's patience, kindness, and goodness, God is there too. When you see faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, that's God's spirit at work. On the way to school, I'm on the lookout. I see a bus full of tourists and count 10 bright yellow taxis. Look at all of those taxis. Can you count them? I spy a man sweeping his stoop, and Grandma and I laugh when we see a tiny dog wearing a fluffy purple, purple sweater. You see the dog? <laughs> At school, Grandma hands me my lunch and hugs me close before she says goodbye. That's what love looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. On the swings, I pump so hard, I see over the wall into the alley. My friends shout higher and higher as my feet fly way up into the sky. I wonder if you've ever swung that like that. It looks really fun. That's what joy looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. Outside, car horns blast and sirens scream, but my classroom is quiet and calm. That's what peace looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I try to tie my shoes, but the laces tangle around my fingers. My teacher sits down beside me and shows me how to tie them. That's what patience looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. On the way home, I see a doorman wearing a red cape and a hat with a shiny brim. He's holding the door for a man using a wheelchair. The man moves very slowly and the doorman chats with him and smiles. That's what kindness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. While I'm setting the table for dinner, there's a knock at the door. It's our neighbor from downstairs bringing us a loaf of bread. It's golden brown and warm and wrapped in a thin white towel. That's what goodness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. After dinner, I work on my homework while Grandma stands at the kitchen sink washing dishes. 
and humming to herself, just like she does every single night. That's what faithfulness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. Look, it looks like it's bedtime in the story for the little boy. At bedtime, Grandma sits at the edge of my bed, singing me a lullaby and stroking my head. She tucks my blankets up close around me. That's what gentleness looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I lie in bed, watching the curtains flutter. I want to talk about that dog we saw today and how high I can swing, but Grandma says that once I'm tucked in, I have to stay in bed until morning. I close my eyes and try to fall asleep. That's what self-control looks like to me. Maybe God is like that too. I saw God over and over again today. Whenever I saw love, joy, and peace, and wherever there was patience, kindness, and goodness, when I saw faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, I saw God's spirit at work. I don't see God the way I see my friends, or the streetlights, or the river, but I see signs of God's spirit all around me, right here in the city. I know what God is like. Maybe I can be like that too. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. That's from Galatians. Children, I love how this story talks about all the ways that we see goodness and love and patience around us and how when we see those things, they can remind us of God who is with us. So I want to invite you, maybe take a moment as you think about this story. Where have you seen God? Where have you seen love and patience? Where have you seen kindness and joy? Where have you seen goodness and faithfulness? Can you think about that? Maybe whoever you're with, if you're sitting there with your, your family or with your siblings or with your parents, maybe think about that together. Where have you seen God? Thanks for coming to Storytime together. I hope that you'll join me again soon.